Y'all, I'm already swatting at flies, so bear with me. Y'all can swat along with me. That's just part of living where we live, surrounded by cow pastures and chickens and chicken houses and you know, it's just part of it and I wouldn't trade it. We're just going to sit here and swat at flies together. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. My name is Tiffany. This is our small town life and it's time for another back porch chat. I've been doing these on Fridays for a while now and I really enjoy them and I hope you do too. If you're new to these, um, let me just kind of give you a little bit of a, a background and an idea of what these are all about. So these are very unedited, as I'm sure you'll be able to tell. And that's purposeful because I want you to feel like a friend is just sitting here on the back porch with me and we're just hanging out and chatting for a little while. Here on my channel, I typically share day in the life, what it looks like living in a small town in the Southern United States, uh, my home, our homestead. I share all of that here. And I would love to have you as part of our family. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, we sure would love to have you. And if you're already one of us and you're coming back for another video, thank you so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. So y'all this week, I found myself playing the comparison game. I think we do that from time to time. I think at one point I even caught myself saying, God, if I was writing my own story right now, it, it'd look a little different. And I put myself back in my place, but I mean, I was doing that this week. Why do they have that? Why do they have that? And I don't, why is this working for them and not for me? Um, and, and in thinking about times that have been hard and struggles and different things, I started thinking about how when we go through those things, we walk those tough roads or go through hardships and we still choose to say, God is good. Praise Jesus. That is the truest, purest form of love and worship that we could give God. Because y'all, it's easy for people to say, God is good. Praise the Lord. When nobody's sick, the bank account's full, all is well, things are going good. But when you can still say those things, when you can still say God is good when you're going through something difficult that shows God that our love for him is not circumstantial. People looking in on our lives can see that and say, there must be something to this Jesus guy. There must be something, there must be something to this and we can shine a light for Jesus. And y'all just in this past week in his sermon, he was talking about worship. He went a little bit of a different direction with it, but he said something that I wanted to share here. And that is that we were created with a desire to worship. We were created with a desire to worship God. But as humans, we've twisted it and uh, we worship money and careers. And Justin even mentioned the amount of people that idolize and worship Taylor Swift. I know y'all, I know y'all see it. I know you see it. And you can say, I don't worship anything, but I'm telling you, you were created with a desire to worship and you are putting your time and your energy and your focus and your attention on something. We were created to worship God. What are you choosing to worship? And somebody left a comment on a video this week and it was something that I'd been thinking about. Sometimes I'll have ideas for videos or maybe something I think we might sit here and talk about and I'll write it down or I'll store it away somewhere and might come back to it or if I feel led back to it then we'll talk about it or create a video on it or whatever. And this is one of those things and somebody left a comment that was, I mean, it, it could I could have been what I had said. And it was that so many people are searching for their purpose. Friend, your purpose is to serve and worship God. Whatever else you're doing, whatever else is going on, your purpose is to serve and worship God. God designed me to be a wife, a mama. To share here with you all, to be a part of my community, to be a part of my church. But even in all of those things, in my duties as a wife, in my duties as a mama, I'm serving and worshiping God. Here, in my community, in my church, I'm serving and worshiping God. That is our purpose. That is what we were created for. That's why we're here. That's what, that's what we're here to do. So no matter what you're trying to figure out, uh, no matter what you're trying to, your know, career, family, where you're supposed to live, whatever it is you're trying to figure out and you're calling it purpose, know that in the center of it all, 
you're here to serve and worship God. Whatever you're going through, choose to worship God in it. Choose to say that your love for him is not circumstantial. Choose to let people see that Jesus is good, God is good, no matter what. Shine that light for him. God wants good for us. We live in a, in a fallen world, and that's why we have sickness and hardships and struggles. God wants good for you. He does. That's what was on my heart this week. I've been trying to sit out here in the peace and quiet. These, I'm telling you, these flies. I'm having to swat at them today. I've had a little bit of a busier week. Uh, I tried... I, I, try to embrace as much of living a slow, simple life as I can. We definitely go through seasons where things are busier. Starting up bas basketball practices again for the three older kids this past week. Y'all saw we did a lot of stuff with the fair this past week. It's just been, it's been a busy week and I've been just sitting here in the peace and the quiet. It's a little bit cooler today. Definitely feels like fall. I've just been embracing a slow moment, a quiet moment, counting my blessings. If you're watching this on Friday, I hope that you have a great weekend. Whatever day you're watching it on, I hope you have a great day. If you missed any of the back porch chats or just want to hang out with me a little bit longer, I'll put the playlist down in the description box. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.